Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Not going to wait to preach alone, but we're having a good time. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're having a high time. I think we, I noticed that the, uh, I don't know whether the guy worked here or not, but he came by, he closed the door. <laughs> I tell you what, now, you, you can't keep us quiet, man. Yeah. Oh, God has done too much for us, man. Right. That's why I going to the restroom over there, they was talking, but they were very quiet. Yeah. You we know, we're not quiet. We have to have a good time. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. We let, I let go and let God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. As I go into my message, you are looking at a miracle standing here before you today. Tonight, God has been good to me. I'm not 100%, but God has brought me from a mighty long way. And the doctor gave me up twice, but God said, not so. So I'm still here. I got a reason. I'm not going to wait a bit long from the book of First Peter. I am not addressing the brethren per se tonight, but just want to encourage you from the word of the Lord. Amen. In this brief moment, we're not going to wait a bit. It's a little bit warm. I'd just like to encourage you just a little bit if we will in mind, that's all right. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You got some. I know you're not long for preaching because you got a good preacher here. Amen. Matter of fact, you got quite a few good preachers here. Amen. 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 So you're not worrying about preaching. You just want to enjoy yourself. Amen. Like Ronald Brown saying, enjoy Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 First Peter chapter number one. Hallelujah. We're going to read from verse 5 and the rest after 8. Who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be. You are inheritors through manifold temptations. That the trials of your face being more, much more precious than of gold that perish, though it be tried with fire, it might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen yet love, in whom though now you see him not, yet believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable joy unspeakable and full of glory receiving the end of your faith even the salvation of your souls lord jesus christ we thank you for the reading of your words we are honored here tonight to be able to stand behind this podium and and talk to your people and expand the word of god Lord, we thank you for touching our body one more time. We are grateful and we love you. We honor you for that. And Father, as we attempt to speak now unto your people, rooted upon their heart, I know there's lips of clay that something might be say to help us in this dark and critical time in which we are living. Do we fall, Father? We won't take your glory, but all glory and honor shall be thine. Thus we ask it in Jesus' name. Let the Redeemer of God say. I didn't hear what you say. Yeah. Hallelujah. You talk to me. I'm one of those preachers. I'd like for you to talk to me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Say something. Say ouch. If it hits you and it hurts, say ouch. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We are grateful for you tonight. We are talking from this subject tonight. Things that are precious to us in God. Amen. Amen. Things that are precious to us in God. We all have precious things that we like. Am I right about it? Yeah. Amen. We think of something precious. We think of something that is to be cherished. And watch jealously because you love that. As a believer, there are some things that we possess that are truly precious. Amen. We love our children. We love what we have because God gave it to us and some of the things that we got, a man, you didn't get it easily. You had to sacrifice and cry and 
and ask God and fast and pray, amen, before you get in and you got it. It's a precious thing to you. Amen. When I was a little child and I get my first bicycle, Lord have mercy, I didn't want to touch the ground. I washed that thing and wipe it down, man. Don't you mess with my bicycle. That was precious to me. Amen. Because that was something I want. What you want for Christmas? I want to be a bicycle. I don't care for nothing else. I want my clothes. I want to be a bicycle. And amen. When I got up and saw that bicycle, man, I was one of the happiest person in my life. I cherished that bicycle. Uh, amen. I, I, I honored that bicycle. I didn't worship it, but I loved it because it was precious to me. Amen. And we have things that are precious to us. All material wealth that we esteem will one day perish. And all the people we come to be precious will also perish from the earth. We're not going to live forever here on earth. Let me put it like that. Yeah, because it seems when I leave here, I expect it to be going to heaven. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. I don't expect to live forever here on earth. Amen. Amen. Because you see, I have eternal life. What about you? Yeah. I'm going to talk to me, somebody. If you have eternal life, I'll see you in glory. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I'll see you in glory if you got eternal life. If you don't have eternal life, you can get it before we leave from here tonight. No doubt about it. God is on this throne and he wants to save somebody from going to a devilish hell. And I'm right here to help you to go to heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Nobody has to die and go to hell. Jesus done that over 2,000 years ago. You don't have to go to hell. You go to hell because you want to. But honey, the doors are open for you. The blood has been shed. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, sir. You don't have to go to hell. You can go to heaven and, and rejoice and have a good time. Amen. You see, the first year, I'm going to say, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. You know, the whole body gets kind of old sometimes, but hey, man, but boy, when I get to heaven, woo, you're going to look back, you're going to look back, honey, and I'm going to shout the first year, I'm going to shout and have a good time, praise the Lord, because I'm going where Jesus sits. The song says, if anybody asks you where I'm going, I'm going up the yonder. I have a God give us some precious things that you, that we will never perish that will never perish nor be taken away from us. There are some things, hallelujah, I'm gonna name a few of them and I'm gonna take my seat in the name of Jesus Christ, amen? But you know, there's some things that happen to us, you don't know why you're going through it, you don't know why it's happening to you, but it's happening. Amen, praise God, in 2007, I lost the only child that I had, amen. He was 35 years old, but when it hurt, it still hurt. Amen, it still hurt. I can't, I'm not over that yet, but God knows what he is doing. Amen, I'm expecting to see him up in glory. Amen, I don't question God, but the question is always there as to why did you take my only son? The God of the Creator, amen, he gives us all things, and, and God knows what he is doing, y'all. I don't care what you are going through, but God never makes a mistake. Hello, okay. somebody. I know what you're doing. Look at you making a mistake, but God never makes a mistake. Hello, okay. somebody. Praise the Lord. But you know, the valley and the trials, the trials and valley of life are not fun at all. Amen. When I lost my son, that was not for me, man. But I thank God for the Holy Ghost, you know. Amen. You see, because without the Holy Ghost, honey, I don't know where I want to be here or not. Amen. Because it's not an easy thing losing your own little love. Amen. But God is good to me, you know. Amen. God give me a grandbaby. And praise the Lord. And every time I look at that grandbaby, I see him. Amen. So God. Let me go through 
a seed. So pray the Lord, your child that you are born to have. And I heard people say these trials come to make me strong. But when you go through them trials and come on the other side, honey, you learn something about God that you wouldn't have learned otherwise. So God got a way of teaching us about Him. God got a way of teaching us how He is and who He is and what He's all about. So your trials are precious because when you go through your trials, Jesus Christ will say, Here I am. Do not buy in yourself. Amen. Call in a few more characters from the Bible. Amen. A man and a would have never known that Jesus could walk on water if it had not been a stone. Come on, somebody. Shall let me shout in the back door and I know that God could come into your life and be in the fire furnace if it wasn't a fire. Come on here, somebody. Come on here. You go up to your child and you think nobody knows what you're going through. But I'm here to tell you that God is well of evil. No one I've never known that God could keep him in a safe ark and that there had not been a flood. So I came a flood and they go no into the ark. You ought to catch up with me after a while. Mary and Martha would have never known that Jesus could raise Lazarus from the dead if he didn't die. Hallelujah. Amen. Is the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said the 
the blood. Somebody said the blood. Don't you know that there's life in the blood? Come on, somebody. Don't you know if you, there's healing in the blood? You cut yourself and you just keep it clean, it will heal your own soul. And when there's life in the blood, there's healing in the blood. Seen it before, you know uh, how uh, how the song goes. Now I want to get it right. I'm not much of a singer, but hey, man, how a black cow can eat green grass and give you white milk? Y'all ever figure that one out? A black cow can eat green grass and give you white milk. Hey, Amen. So you can't figure that one out. So you can't figure out how Jesus' blood can cleanse you from all your sins. Come on, sir. I just want to go back to heaven when he comes, y'all. How do you want to go to heaven? Hey, Amen. You know, in order to get there, you got to have some gas. Hey, Amen. You got to have a tank. You got to have some gas in it. Hey, Amen. I'm calling you running on air, y'all. Hey, Amen. You got to have something in your tank. And if you don't need no gas in our tank, who can tell us what we need? Y'all following me pretty good. I like that. to have the Holy Ghost in your tank to get to heaven. Amen. I noticed that they fired off the last uh, space shuttle this past week or one day they was. And, and another thing that made me sick to my stomach is when they signed that bill. Amen. In the Garden of Eden was Adam and Eve. No, I take that back. It was Adam and Steve. Why in the world they don't look at scripture? And bring two man. What I got looking at you? Yeah. How you had on the field hugging this man yeah. and kissing him? Oh my, God. my God, that's a demon out of the pits of hell. Jesus have mercy. But if nobody can do nothing right now. The spirit of world is in God's hand. Nobody can do nothing. I don't care who you put in there. If they don't put a bomb back in there, nobody can do no better. If they put a bomb back in there, it will still go up God's way. Amen. So hey man, they're looking at our bomb, but he didn't do this and he didn't do that. But my God, he did a whole lot considering what Bush left him. Amen. Bush probably got in that whole time and got in that kitchen because he know he left the man in a mess. Come on, somebody. Oh, Lord Jesus, you couldn't give me no kind of presidency. All I want to do is just preach and go to heaven. Come on, son. Amen. Amen. 